Hi everybody, uh, today's video is a bit of fun, but there is a serious point to this as well, and I have been asked this question multiple times. So it's a bit like a Q&A session as well. Uh, and the question is, can you sleep in the back of an ID bus? You've probably seen the vehicles before, and in the style, you've got that multi-board that's in there as well to give you a flat surface. So I thought, why not just do a video and we'll show you whether it's possible or not. So what I've done today is I've brought my double sleeping bag, uh, my double mattress uh, that's in here as well. Uh, now I know this fits perfectly into a combi, so if you have a combi with a bed, it works perfectly. So we thought, why not? We'll do from start to finish, we'll film us putting it in, and either it will fit or it won't, one way or the other. But there's only one way to find out, so let's have a look. So in the back of the vehicle anyway, open up the tailgate that's on here and show you what we've already got. Uh, so this has got the flexi board in uh, that's in here and we've got the partial shelf. So um, obviously we're going to have to take the partial shelf out. I'm going to drop the seats first as well, take the partial shelf out. Then we'll get the mattress out, put that in, see if it fits or not. Uh, and if it does, we'll put the uh, sleeping bag on there as well uh, and have a little quick try as well. So first off, let's have a look at the seats in the back. So these are easy. Uh, they just need to be folded down. So you just pull the catch, fold down and that locks into place and that gives us our pretty much flat surface. It's on there, I'll run around the other side. That is our surface that's there. So we need to remove the partial shelf. Uh, so partial shelf has gone out, I'm gonna go and put that on the floor. So that gives us our maximum space and width that's across the vehicle. All right, let's get the mattress out and see whether it goes in or not. This is my camping mattress, it is a blow up one. It is a double, uh, so if you're wondering, it is 200 by 130, so that's the size of it that's in there, uh, but it does say it is a double. And just unclip these. So, does it fit? Hmm. It's a bit tight on the side, but would it work? I think it would. Let's go and throw the uh, sleeping bag in. Put that across the back. There we go, how does that look? I think we can definitely say you could sleep in the back of this. It's nice and firm on the bed. I'm gonna jump in in a second just to see what it's actually like, whether it's comfy or not. Obviously you're gonna need something on your windows probably that goes around it. I don't think it would be very long until you can get things that go on the windows. Uh, that's on here as a, as a kit of some description that goes on here as well. So. Uh, keep an eye out for that problem that's there. Um, so let me jump in, let's see what it's like actually on the bed. Uh, so if you could jump in, oh, I could definitely, definitely sleep in here. Uh, there's still a little bit of room at the front. I'm sure if you push those seats all the way forward, I'll have a look at that in a minute, you'll have a little bit of storage that's in there. But as a very quick getaway, sleeping in the back of an ID bus, definitely achievable. You've obviously always got storage as well underneath here, so we've got your storage boxes and you've still got all the space that goes all the way right down to the front seats underneath there as well. So you've got lots and lots of space that's in there. And if you have this kind of setup that's on here as well, and then you wanted to go somewhere as well after that, it'd be nice and easy, because all you've got to do is literally just pull those seats back up and you're ready to go back on your way again as well. Perfect. So I've pushed the seats all the way forward that's here as well. So you have got a bit of space that's down on the side uh, that's here as well that you can jump into. Uh, I've turned the bed the other way around because realistically, probably that's where you're going to have your head realistically at that end that's on here. So as I said before, if I jump all the way back in again, I've got my head up here to go to sleep. Absolutely plenty of room for two of you that's in the vehicle. So definitely doable for a weekend away or a quick night away or something like that as well. The big question is, is is this going to be quite similar to the California? Is it going to be this kind of setup or something completely different? Only time will tell. Uh, but that's a long way off. That's 2024 before that vehicle, 2025 before that vehicle uh, gets towards us. But in the meantime, uh, it's a big question that has been answered. Could you sleep in an ID buzz? 100% you definitely could sleep in the ID buzz. I'll have a quick look to see whether we can get some blinds at some point that go on the side of it from on there. But if you're going to be going to sleep, it's going to be nighttime anyway. But other than that, Loads of space, definitely, definitely possible. As I said, today's video has been a bit of fun, uh, but it has made a very good point that this vehicle can definitely be slept in. Uh, just needs a few more little tweaks, possibly, uh, as I said, for the windows and things like that. 
But once they're done, 100% you can definitely sleep in it. I hope you'd enjoyed today's video. If you have, give us a thumbs up, give us a like. Uh, let us know in the comments box below, would you sleep in this? Is it something that uh, you think you could do something with and, and, and stay away for a weekend in? Uh, as it is, it's in there. Uh, let us know in the comments box below and we'll see you next time.